Hello everyone, Ron here from Ron's World. If you're new to the channel, then you know that I'm on a road trip. I'm currently in uh, the city of Racine, Wisconsin, and uh, I will be uh, continuing on my journey tomorrow. So uh, this video, I want to do a sort of a review of how things are going with my newly acquired uh, Jeep Wrangler High Tide Unlimited. And I want to talk about the pros and cons uh, with the vehicle. So I'm gonna give it to you straight. So let's begin with the cons. Well, actually, there really aren't any. And so what I'm gonna to present to you are, let's say, many cons, and for many, they won't be cons at all. And when it comes to, you know, these pro and con videos, they're really subjective. It depends on what you like, what you don't like, whereas others may like those things that you don't like, and they may like those things that you hate. So the number one con, if you want to call it that, is the removal of the back, uh, the roof at the top. Now, the front portion uh, of the top, that's very easy to remove. You undo a few latches, you lift it, and it's off, and it's not weighty. But as far as removing the back portion, the back top of the, the roof, it's it requires uh, more effort. Uh, it's heavier than the front portion. So you may need some assistance. Uh, maybe two other people, maybe three, would make it easier to remove it. And then you got to consider the storage. Now, I mentioned in another video that uh, I'll probably never use the, the soft top, and I'll probably never remove the back part of the roof. Now, the, the front part, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll remove it because, like I just stated, it is very easy to remove and very easy to put back on, and it is lightweight. So, if you want to call that a con, you can call it a con. The second one is also subjective. With regards to the Jeep Wrangler line, there are just so many uh, upgrades that uh, one could get with these types of vehicles. And again, that's subjective. Uh, when you get them off the, uh, off the factory line, uh, many of them are already fully equipped. Now with this one, I'll probably add a few things onto it, such as a roof rack, uh, maybe I will get a, a bicycle uh, carrier to put in the back, but that will probably be it because I'm very happy with the way it's outfitted right now. Is that a con? Probably not, but it could be for some. The third and final con, and this is really a real con, will be the gas mileage. It's not great. Now, the uh, engine that I have in this particular vehicle, the Jeep Wrangler High Tide Unlimited, it's a V6 engine, uh, 285 horsepower. I get on average about maybe 19, 20 miles per gallon if I am cognizant of my driving habits. Uh, I probably could do better, but the gas mileage on these vehicles are not great. But, uh, you know, going into purchasing a Jeep, you should know that. Let's talk about the pros. Now, the first pro about this vehicle that I like is that I can remove the doors. They're very easy to remove. And so I can remove the doors and remove the, the front top here. And it's like being in another vehicle. Now, if it's a hot, sunny day, then I don't want to remove the top. And if I'm driving, say, on a dirt road or something like that, I don't want to remove the doors. That's my preference because I don't want all the dust and dirt getting inside of the vehicle. But that would be a pro. It is the ease at which the doors can be removed. The number two pro is that there are tons of modifications that one could make on these Jeeps. You can add lights on the top, a new bumper. There's just so much that you can outfit these Jeeps with. Now, when I purchased this vehicle, when it came off the line, it was already, for the most part, fully equipped with uh, the big tires, uh, the lift kit, and all that. So any modifications that I make to this vehicle will be small. The third pro, and I didn't know about this until recently, and that's the Jeep community. Now, I'm driving down 
the highway down the road and I see other Jeep Wrangler owners and they'll wave at you. We're talking about complete strangers waving at you. So there's just a vast Jeep community out there and shout out to hashtag Jeep Nation and hashtag Jeep Life. Complete strangers who will like wave at you, do this, and I'm still learning uh, the ropes, so to speak. But that feels good. The next pro that I like is that not only is this a great off-road vehicle, I took it off-road one time uh, down in Indiana, and I went over some boulders and big rocks, and it navigated like a charm. But it's the on-road performance is that I'm really impressed with. This vehicle rides like a luxury vehicle. I've heard some complaints about there may be some road noise. I'm not really hearing that. It rides like a cushion of air. It's smooth. It's strong. Uh, this particular model, I get great acceleration and it just maneuvers in and out of traffic a uh, great. So I love that. And that is a definite pro. When I'm on these long distance trips, like I am right now, the miles just melt away. So that is definitely a pro. And the last and final pro is that I get lots of compliments on this Jeep. And I have to admit, it is a handsome uh, vehicle on the outside and on the inside. So overall, I'm very pleased with this purchase. I think that more and more people are looking at Jeeps now, not only because of their utility, uh, because of their looks. Uh, now, you know, they're not building them like they did back in the day. And now they build them to where they're both great off-road vehicles, but on road, they ride like luxury vehicles. So if you're considering purchasing a new vehicle, I'd recommend that you look at the Jeep Wrangler line. So there you have it. Uh, that's my review. Let's see what tomorrow brings and I'll bring you more content as I continue on my journey down the road. You guys take care.